Hey, yeah. guys. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're here with our top five favorite animes of all time. And we're both going to have five, and we're going to compare. Yeah. That's okay, how starting cool. with number five. I'll let you go first on your list. Pokemon. Pokemon? I can say that. The whole series, everything included. Even, Actually, well, I, I'm going to go to Orange Island. The first season to Orange Island's hmm. best anime of all time. You said number five. Number the fifth best anime of all time. Um, I'm actually gonna go the original Full Metal Alchemist series for number five. It's really good, really good. It is. Number four, Digimon. Up to season three. Actually, no, I take it back. Season one and two, Digimon, Digital Monsters. Hmm. Number four for me. Honestly, I'm gonna say. Dragon Ball. Yeah. Number three. Dragon Ball. Let's see, my number three. My favorite character in Dragon Ball is Master Roshi. My favorite is Oolong. My favorite character in Pokemon, Professor Oak, when he's being all creepy on Ash's mom. I was watching one of the new episodes the other day, and Ash's mom and Professor Oak were going on vacation together. What's with that, Professor Oak? What's with that? And he was wearing one of those, like, Hawaiian <laughs> shirts. That was funny. Okay, my favorite character in Digimon? Um. What's her name with that? What can I think about this right now? Mimi. Mimi is my favorite. And Lily Mon. For Digimon. Her digital monster. And then um, my number two favorite anime of all time. Probably. Full Male Alchemist Brotherhood. That's a very good choice. My favorite character in Full Male Alchemist Brotherhood is Winry. Well, let's see. My number three, because I forgot to give my number three. I gave... Yeah, five and four. Yeah, you kind of skipped me. That's okay. That's fine. I was too excited. Let's see. Sorry. Number three. Hmm. I'm going to say Soul Eater. I love... I forgot about Soul Eater. I love Soul Eater. It's just so great. Um, I don't know if I would put it above Pokemon or Digimon. I, I got to put... As my favorite character is either Maka's dad or... Maka's dad is so... Oh. Or death. Death is no, Death the Kid. Oh Death the Kid is fantastic. When he passes out during that test. Oh gosh. And then there's Black Star. Uh, are, no, uh, the two girls. Pam, are, no. Penny? No. I think Pam is right. Is, is her name Pam? I don't remember. Pam. The two girls, like the one that's all giraffe, giraffe. Oh, yeah, I love giraffes. That you better one. watch that giraffe or I'll split your throat. Anyway. She's using a lot of yellow. <laughs> it was just hilarious. That's my favorite episode. If you can't tell, this is like, they're freaking uh, out. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. How did I forget about Excalibur? I'll be waiting for you. Excalibur <laughs> is amazing. My number two. No, he's, he's my number one favorite character in Soul Eater. His name is Excalibur. And. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's like the best thing I've ever seen. I remember the first time I showed you that episode. I wish he was a character on Animal Crossing so he could be my neighbor. Yeah. Just so he would, like, be in the middle of something, and then yeah. all of a sudden, fools! <laughs> oh, gosh, if you ever watched Soul Eater, you know, and I think it's the last, it was the last couple episodes where all that drama was going on, and, <laughs> the like, all time. the main, like, um, you know, like, big people like Death and uh, Maka's dad are all sitting around talking, and he's like, fools, fools. And no one's paying attention to him. <laughs> he's like waving his like little cane at no everybody. No one ever explains why he's there. He just like, psh, and was, he's just there. And it's really funny. <laughs> it is. It's much needed comic relief in the intense final episodes. But my You're number two. You my number two. Fairy tale. I love fairy tale. I know a lot of people try to say it's not as good as One Piece or Bleach or any of those. Honestly, from what I've seen of all those shows, Fairy Tales characters to me are just better. Fairy Tale sucks. 
<laughs> That's not even true. Because My yeah. number one favorite anime is Fairy Tail. Her favorite characters. My favorite character is Urza. She is the best thing. I remember the first time I watched it, uh, Urza came out and um, she started talking. And I said, I love her. And I've been in love ever since. It's true. It's exactly how it happened. She came out and it was right when I got off the train. And <laughs> I said, no. I love her. She was all like, I forgot not so you can hit me now. Feel free to hit me now is what she said. Yeah, it was pretty She's funny. She's perfect in every way. Uh, my favorite character from that show. Oh gosh. There's so many. Um, Mira Jane. Main characters. I'm She's gonna, the she devil. I'm going to say honestly not to is my favorite of the main characters. He's got a fire in his belly. Or happy. Uh, happy's not my favorite. Just because happy is extremely sarcastic towards Lucy all the time. Yeah. And then my Lucy favorite. Lucy used to be up there and then I just started doing some fan service stuff. With her, I guess. Yeah, they got a little excessively fan servicey with the last. Seems like not at all. Few yeah, it's really it's, weird. It's kind of awkward. Um, hey Japan, yeah, it's it's a little awkward. Us in America don't really. Well, <laughs> I'm not a teenage boy. I don't know. Teenage boys have a different perspective on things. I used to be one. I know. They have a very different perspective. <laughs> I remember when I was a teenage boy, I loved Wait, watching... what? <laughs> you didn't know that? Nope. Woo! Anyway, uh, my favorite side character on there is probably Elfman. Because he just makes me laugh with his whole real man shtick. It's just really funny. My favorite, he's not a side character, it's Grey. I love Grey, and I feel like they're really nerfing him. It's like... Dragon Ball Z, and he's not a Super Saiyan. Yeah. It's, like, really sad, because he, him and Nazi used to be, like, neck and neck, and now that there's the three Dragon Slayers, which there was only supposed to be one of, nobody except Urza and, like, Guild Arts are worth anything well, now. Well, Loxus. Well, Loxus is... Loxus betrayed me, and I have not forgiven him yet. You will soon enough. Well, I don't know. Grey did beat Old here, and... There's one episode. Oh, wait, that's kind of a spoiler. Sorry, guys. Um, he didn't beat her. She realized that she loved her mother. And that's the spoiler. No, he's, he's still kind of one. No, he didn't. She was distracted by her mother, and he stabbed her. Or, no, he's veered her with ice. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. He uses ice magic. It, it's a really interesting show. The more you know. But my number one show... Is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Thumbs up. I loved the original when I watched it, but then it's like I watched Brotherhood, and I've watched it twice since I watched it, and I'm already watching it again. Yeah, we're watching it again. Um, I just love it. Just, that it never show. gets old, and when you turn it on, you have to watch the next episode. Except for it's like every time I get to that freaking Shao Tucker episode with Nina and Alexander when. Oh, God. It just messes me up every time. It's like the episode on Futurama where um, he thinks that his dog lived on a good life without him, and then you find out at the end of it that he stood outside the pizza place and waited for him. But then they go ahead, and that one episode makes it all irrelevant. So. Yeah, pretty much. But there's that. and You found dog. out how he got um, fossilized. Yeah, he was fast fossilized by old Bender. When he was trying to blow up Fry. Yeah. Um... But then there was another episode that really messed me up, and that was Hugh's death. That one really messed me up. Let's just say it made it seem like his wife shot him. Yeah. And if you don't know about Agent Hughes, his number one obsession is his daughter, and his second number one obsession is his wife. He loves his family, and it was really just a sad, sad thing. But it was a really great show. What about Alchemist? It, like makes you feel emotions um it remains consistently funny it's funny it's emotional it's, it's an, not too emotional um you're fighting for a goal the whole time it's just like it's so I, important another thing i liked about it versus the original the original was still good i mean but it brotherhood was. but like it's amazing 
the side characters, the support characters, had so much more of a goal. I forgot my favorite anime. I'm changing my number five. SAO, Sword oh Art God. Online. Oh my god, I forgot Asana, SAO. My favorite character. That's your number one? That's my number one, it's Asana. Your number one anime? No, it's my number five anime. You know, I forgot Pokemon all about Bob. SAO. I have to put... Pokemon is not about the anime, it's about the games. I actually have to bump one off my list for SAO. Who are you going to bump? I gotta bump Full Metal Alchemist, the original series, off there. SAO is just better. If you haven't watched Sword Art Online, I think it's all in English now, um, I, except for the new season. Now I know there's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna be like, "Hey, where's Attack on Titan? Hey, where's this show? Where's that show?" Well, let me tell you about Attack on Titan. We ain't watched it yet. We've only watched like three episodes, and the first one I was crying like a baby. Oh so, my gosh, it's so amazing, but it it's just... It tore my soul apart. Yeah, it, I mean, she really was, like, in tears. Um, Which, I mean, it looks like an amazing show. But we're, we're definitely going to watch it, so before anybody just starts raging on us, before just before that, chill out, because... And when we're saying, like, anime, like, show, if I was saying anime, like, even movies, I would definitely have to say number one is Tortoro, my neighbor Tortoro. Um, my second favorite would be... I don't know. I'd say, honestly, if I... Uh, Rocco, uh, po... Porco Rosso? Porco Rosso. I do not think I would love that movie, but it is the best movie ever. I, as far as Miyazaki films, my favorite's always going to be... I'm just saying be, anime films. Well, anime films in general, even. My favorite one is probably going to be Princess Mononoke. Oh, my God. It is so incredible. It is... I wouldn't, like, recommend it for, like, um... A child or something? Like, the faint of heart, because there's a lot of, like, gore and violence. But it has a really strong message. It's... And the message is no one wins. <laughs> it's such a great movie, though. Um, if you... I would highly recommend it. If you have not watched the Miyazaki films that Disney put out, or even just... In Japanese, if you're a stickler for that type of thing, you know? Yeah, um, I don't think Tortoro or um, Porco Rosso was at Disney. I think Tortoro was. Like, no, I it think was that, before Disney. It was before um, the Ghibli Studios. I think they did like a re-release, though, through Disney. Well, I know it's through Disney now. I mean, it wasn't like... Well, no, not originally, but... A lot of his weren't, which Mononoke wasn't either. I'm sitting on the floor of my foot's asleep. Yeah. So I guess that's the end of our um, favorite animes movies. So if to you, recap. Let's see. Number five for me would have been Dragon Ball. Four was... Oh, crap. What was it? Uh, Soul, Eater, Soul Eater. Sword Art was three. Fairy Tale two. And Brotherhood was one. My number five was Sword Art Online. My number four was Digimon. My number three was... Full Metal Alchemist. What was, what was my number two? Brotherhood. What is your number two? Three was something else. What was it? <laughs> you can't remember? No. <laughs> number three was Pokemon. Um, no, number two. it wasn't. That was number five. I don't remember what it was. It must not be important. It was. Was it Soul Eater? I don't think it was. I don't think I had Soul Eater. I mean, it's a great, I love it, but. <laughs> it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, pretty much. Um, my number one, though, is Fairy Tale, and I love it. Brotherhood was your number two. Brotherhood is really good. But yeah, Brotherhood's number one for me. I don't know. I just think that the message and just the way they tell the entire story is really, in an anime series, to me, it's not been touched. Except maybe after I watch Attack on Titan, that'll change. And maybe We have watched um, a lot of animes that only have like 24 episodes and that we really liked, but we don't think that those song of episodes could compare to something like um, Fairy Tale or... Now, we've watched a few, um, some of the ones that are on Netflix. Uh, Kenichi, The Mightiest Disciple, we watched. That one is so funny. It yeah, was, it was it. really good. Um, it's like 50 episodes. 
there was the last one we watched was My Bride is a Mermaid, which I didn't know. I didn't think I was going to like that it. That one's really funny, too. But and I, I found it really funny. All of those have, like, the same voice actors and stuff. It, it It's a little racy in some parts, I won't lie. But, <laughs> and it's kind of awkward because they're supposed to be, like, 14 or 15. So, yeah, it's a little awkward. But it's kind of funny. Um, what's something else that we We watch anime all the time. Oh. Yeah. We've watched a lot of those. We've watched, like, some of Italia. Oh, uh, one was called, like, Ghost Hunt, I think. And yeah. it was really good. Black um, Butler, what I've watched of it's been really good. It's really good. It's kind of, not morbid, but it's kind of it's on the really darker side. It's really twisted, but really good. It's really good. It's kind of funny. In, like, a sarcastic way. Yeah. Uh, Fate Zero. Fate Zero. Um, I was watching that, and I thought all the main characters were the same person. <laughs> I thought that one guy's wife had died, and that was why he was all skinny and depressed. And um, he was the same guy as the church guy. <laughs> but it was turns out there were so different people, and then there's that little kid. And they're all different people, and that's we haven't finished watching that yet, but it seems like it's going to be really good. Yeah, that's another one we're going to watch. But for the time being, we're trying to get caught up on Fairy Tale, um, uh, watching Brotherhood again, of course. We've never watched One Piece. We've watched a few episodes of it. We've never watched... Uh, we've watched some Naruto. Naruto. And Bleach. Um, we've Bleach. watched, a we watched of some episodes. Bleach. But there's just so many episodes. I don't know how we're ever going to catch up. Because I didn't grow up with that. I grew up with Digimon and Pokemon. So. Right. Like where I watched a lot of like Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. Which No, watch like that. Um, I don't know what he's talking about because I watched Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Well, yeah. When I was little. But I watched Dragon Ball mainly. Yeah, I, I watch more of Z, but... I like Dragon Ball better because it's more, like, funny. You see, it's, and it's, it's more a, about them traveling to find the Dragon Balls than, uh, like, fighting and stuff. It's, it's more of a typical kind of shonen anime in that kind of genre. And Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z is more like... Just, Super Saiyan against Super Saiyan against... Basically, at one point, if you're not Goku or Vegeta, you're basically irrelevant. And... And if you all watch that new movie, Vegeta goes past Goku. He's a Super Saiyan 2, and he's stronger than Goku because Let's of what happens to Bulma. Someone hurts Bulma, and Vegeta don't like it. Yeah, he gets mad, and he it was really mad. funny. But um, I actually really enjoyed the movie. I have to say, we went and watched it we in theaters. We can do a review of that movie. Yeah, we can. Uh, but should we at, er, talk about the other giveaway? In this video, or say what giveaway? Stay tuned for more. I don't more. know what you're talking about. But if you're watching this video, um, we're actually doing a giveaway. We're wearing the same clothes, so um, it's still going. Yeah. Um, it's a giveaway for a Funko Pop. So if you want to go over to our video called, um, it's called like Call You Funko Pop Paul or something. We haven't uploaded it yet, so we haven't named it. But um, you can enter to win a Funko Pop. It's uh, you'll find out about it there. So yeah. if you want to uh, go comment on that video, and you'll be entered to win. Uh, Comment. Well, you have to subscribe first, of course. It has to be a subscribe. A subscriber. I'm burnt. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it has to be a subscriber, and you have to tell us your favorite Disney villain because it's a Disney Funko Pop. So, you know, go watch that video and stay tuned for more giveaways in the future. We've got a ton of stuff that we're planning on doing for you guys. Because we've reached 100 subscribers. So thank you for and that. And we're so excited, so we want to let and give back to um, whoever's decided to follow us. And we really want to give it to someone that's subscribed to us and help us get to this place. So we really want to give back. And that's... don't worry about shipping because it's free. So if you all have any animes to suggest uh, something outside if of the mainstream. If we miss something in the list, let us know down below. If you want, if you like have a really cool anime that you want to like turn us on to. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want to like tell us about, uh, please leave it down below because we're always looking for new animes to watch. That's true. We're obsessed with them and that's what we do all day. We lay in the bed and watch anime when he's not at work. He works a lot of overtime so we rest a lot when he's home. Yeah. But, Thank you so much for watching, and please enter the giveaway on the other visit.